Hello everyone, and welcome to another Simple Science video. So last week we talked about ionization energy briefly, and we looked at how it worked, and the particular trends. So to quick, uh, a quick recap, so ionization energy refers to the energy required, or the kinetic energy of the electron that is required to knock off another electron of the original atom to form an ion. And it can be represented by the following equation where A can be any particular ion or atom or molecule. And we also looked at a particular trend, that is the how ionization energy, the first ionization energy, varies across a period. And the period we're looking at was period 3. So in this video, we are going to be analyzing this trend and looking more specifically into some exceptions or some special cases. And these special cases I'm going to refer to are the two uh, noticeable drops, drops of ionization energy that uh, disobeys this trend, rather. Okay. So the first drop, uh, as you can observe, is from magnesium to aluminium. So why is the first ionization energy of magnesium uh, of aluminium less than that of magnesium, which is uh, not predicted? So look at the first drop. And the first thing we need to do is to look at the electronic structure of the magnesium atom. So as you can see, the red uh, indicated electrons are the outermost electrons. So those are the electrons that we refer to for the first ionization energy, that is the energy to remove these electrons. So the outermost electron of the magnesium atom lies in the S 3s subshell. Okay, It lies in the 3s subshell, whereas the outermost electron for the aluminium atom lies in the first sub-subshell of the 3p subshell. Okay, now let's look at them closer. As you can see, um, the electron, the outermost electron of aluminium, lies in the p subshell, which is in a higher energy state than the outermost electron of the magnesium atom. So therefore, it is further from nucleus, so this causes it to be easier to remove. In addition, it's also being shielded, it's being shielded or repulsed by the two subshell, the two electrons in the 3s subshell. So this causes it to be easier to remove. And the key thing to mention here is that these factors that are causing it to become easier to remove outweigh the effect of increased proton number. So this outweighs the the general trend, the general reason for this trend. So if you um, basically remember or try to fix in your head what I have written onto this slide, I will guarantee you the marks for a question such as why is the ionization energy of the first ionization energy of aluminium greater than that of magnesium? Okay? So that is the exam style explanations that I want you to understand. And you must, must, must write what I've highlighted in red, that these factors do outweigh the effect of increased proton number. It is much, much clearer for the examiner to understand. So now let's look at the second drop. So what's happening? Why is the uh, first ionization energy of sulfur lower than that of phosphorus? So again, we look at their electronic structures. So I've highlighted the outermost electron in red. So the outermost electron of the phosphorus atom lies by itself. It's not paired with any other electron. Whereas the outermost electron of aluminium is paired with another electron in its sub-subshell. Okay, so looking at it, we will recognize that this electron experiences electron repulsion with the with the other electron within its subshell. So compared to the first one, which has no paired, no paired electron, compared to the phosphorus atom, the outermost electron of sulfur has a paired electron and therefore has double electron repulsion. So this causes it to be easier to remove. So this is similar to the effect of um, repulsion shielding that we looked at uh, previously. And again, we must mention that these, this factor outweighs the effect of increased proton number. All right? So get that into your head. You must mention what I've written in red. It's much, much clearer. And the key, um, the key thing to notice here is that the electron will experience 
double electron repulsion. Okay, so I'm highlighting green and highlighting red. You must remember to mention in your exam answers, and I will guarantee you your marks. So this trend will um, will be observed across uh, across the periodic table, and it will be observed across all proton numbers, or up, uh, especially up to period three, and there will be drops and drops uh, as indicated. So. From this graph, from this graph, uh, from period one to period three, we can see that helium is has the highest first ionization energy, and that makes perfect sense because it's going to be higher than hydrogen because it has one extra proton, and it's going to be higher than the rest because it's closer closest to the nucleus and doesn't have the shielding effect which causes that electron to be removed easier, and there are going to be massive drops when you go down periods. Okay, and this is due to uh, the effect of shielding. So as you uh, go up an energy state from n1 to n equals 2, you can see that uh, there will be shielding and there will be significant distance from the nucleus. And therefore, um, it is much, much, much easier to remove at a higher um, energy state. So that is it. That's um, the ionization energy for you. That's ionization energy in two videos. So we're to quickly summarize the key most important things is that ionization can be represented by this sort, this type of equation where on the right side there will be removal of an electron. And this, um, this equation can be further extended for higher levels of ionization. Second thing is that across the period there is going to be a general trend of increase in first ionization energy and as you go down the group there will be a general trend of a decrease in first ionization energy and as you remove more electrons the ionization energies will increase so the first ionization energy would be lower than the second ionization energy which will be lower than the third ionization energy and so on so on so on and you must be able to understand the drops of first ionization energy uh, across periods uh, especially for period three, uh, through understanding its electronic structure and explaining how it outweighs the effect of increase in proton number. So this general trend will extend across periods and across uh, proton numbers, and there will, you must be able to expand, extend the, uh, explain the massive drops from when you go down a period. All right. So thank you very much for watching my video. I, I hope you found this helpful. And please do watch the previous videos to make sure you haven't missed anything else in your revision. And I wish you all good luck and um, well, do well in your exams. <laughs>